I am Lieutenant Lucille Bark, or rather I was a lieutenant. I was one of the most decorated officers in my Air Force squadron. I led a private intelligence squad that played a crucial role in the capture of Osama bin Laden. Throughout my career, I was always the smartest, the only black woman in my class. When I took the ASVABs, I was the only black woman in the room, surrounded by young white men. They moved me around a lot. Didn't like smart black women, especially ones they couldn't make advances towards. But I did my job well, rose quickly through the ranks to lieutenant. I bought this house in Portugal, tried to start anew. That's where I met her. I met an Arabian woman, the princess of an Arabian sultan. We fell in love. But my superior, a colonel, found out. He couldn't stand that I was successful, that I was in love with someone he could never control. Unfortunately, she passed away. No. She was murdered along with all of those other innocent souls on the morning of September 11, 2001, in the windows on the World Restaurant atop the North Tower of the World Trade Center during a business conference for world leaders. After her death, my desire to find Osama bin Laden spurred me to join the intelligence force in my Air Force unit. After his successful capture and killing, I was rewarded for my efforts with being blackmailed and fired. Yep fired by the same predatory colonel that promoted me after she was gone. He destroyed my records. I lost everything. He thought promoting me would give him some power over me, but I continued to reject his advances. And as I said after the mission, when I still refused him, one day was even assaulted and nearly raped if it hadn't been for someone just happening to be inspecting that remote part of the base. After all that I did and achieved, he fired me anyway and erased my whole career from existence. I was about to commit suicide. But then, she came to me. Your work is not done, Lucille Bark. You must tell your story, honor our love, and show the world that love transcends all boundaries. I am Lieutenant Lucille Bark, and my story is far from over. Sexual assault remains a persistent challenge in the military, with 8,942 cases reported in 2022. While the Army saw a 9% decrease, the Air Force, Navy, and Marines experienced increases. Since 2006, yearly increases have occurred, with 6.2% of women and 0.7% of men reporting sexual assault experiences in 2018. The Department of Defense is investing in prevention and response efforts, including dedicated personnel training, and program evaluations. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has prioritized addressing sexual assault, leading to unprecedented investments.